Now, I put this show together because I love comedy a whole lot, and I hate that comedy is kind of spread out. So I got comics from different genres, different styles, all come on this stage and have a good time with y'all tonight. I've been traveling a lot. I've been leaving the country, and I left the country while Trump was president. Don't, don't do that. Because <laughs> people got a lot of shit to say to you, like to your face, and be very mean. They be trashing America. And I don't even like America, but I'm going to defend America because you ain't going to talk about my homie like that. <laughs> You know, I knew this shit was weird is when Trump started bullying the CIA, right? Trump was bullying the CIA. And I'm a young black dude who listens primarily to hip hop. And I was like, hey, leave the CIA alone. <laughs> People say wild shit now since Trump president. He ain't my president. Trump ain't my president. He ain't my president. Like we're on Maury. <laughs> Trump ain't my president. I don't know what's going on. Democracy a thought. This shit crazy as hell. <laughs> and we gotta wait for Maury to go, you are a US citizen. And I... <laughs> Trump's my president. Trump's my president the same way my stepdad is my stepdad. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> he's really annoying on Twitter. <laughs> and he's only here because a woman didn't do a good enough job. <laughs> I love doing that joke. Watch a white woman's face cripple up and shit. It's a good time. It's a good time. <laughs> People wanted Michelle to run. Remember when they wanted Michelle to run to be president and shit? Just because she did one good speech? She ain't going to do that shit. She saw what happened to Barry. Remember when we first saw Barack? He was young and stoic and handsome, and then he left a Sith Lord. <laughs> Y'all remember that shit? He was like hope and change. And when he left, he was like drones, drones. <laughs> I want to be a hell of female presidents. I want to be so many female presidents that we get to our first female Donald Trump. Because <laughs> that means we're going to have our first male Melania Trump. And that is going to be hilarious. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about we got this douchebag Kevin Federline ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like giving a tour to the White House wearing sweatpants, eating cereal. Like, <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? My name Lawrence. Ah, uh, y'all ready? I'll be smashing the president right here. I'll be smashing the president right here. I'll be smashing the president over there. I'll be smashing the president underneath that picture of former president Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> she gave a State of the Union speech. Baby. Hey, baby. Hoo-hoo. Hoo-hoo, baby. Oh, baby. Hey, tell them about my mixtape. Girl, put that boy, I got that mixtape, boy. <laughs> Bruh, you ever been in a family fight, but it ain't your family? <laughs> I wanted to date with this girl. She made me go meet her parents. She had a dad and a stepmom. I grew up with a stepdad. I know it's like, it might throw blows, say some mean shit, but it's all love. Stepmother, stepdaughter, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Women just say mean shit to each other, but with cordial ass faces. Mother <laughs> 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 And it's just crazy to watch. So I was sitting there, I'm not gonna lie, the girl's with, she started. She said the first thing, hey, Janet, how was your day with that lopsided ass face? <laughs> Mom fired right back. I don't know. How's it feel to live with your parents even though you're already growing a mustache? <laughs> I was like, hey, y'all, this tortellini good as f. <laughs> they started firing off back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I know where the mom took it to the next level. Well, you know what? Your dad got a little ass dick. She was like, <gasps> I was like, ooh, the dad was like, what the f did I do? <laughs> We get in the car, she complain about it the whole time, talking about my dad's little dick. I'm just like, I don't know, it kind of makes sense. Right? I think you get a lot of your tendencies from your parents. I have a lot of my mom's tendencies. She has a lot of her dad's little dick tendencies. <laughs> you guys never met a girl who acts like she got a little dick? You can tell when a girl has a dad with a big dick. They're very decisive. They know what they want in this world. Hey, where do you want to go eat? I want shrimp pasta, a pop tart, and that dick. All right, well, it's time to go. It's time to get up out of here. <laughs> that doesn't just apply to women, that applies to men, too. There's a bunch of dudes in here with dry snatch attitudes, and I see you. <laughs> Not me. Y'all see me up here dripping with ego. <laughs> I walk around when my mama got good pussy confidence, and I. <laughs> I did comedy one time at the age of 18 in Seattle, Washington. Moved down to LA with no friends, no family. I was like, how'd you do that? Where'd you get all the confidence to do that? Because my mama be putting to sleep. 